this is Enzi. Smokers. This is this is it's 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 a deplorable condition of the world we live in. Look at this. Why does she think she had a right to come within six feet of me and poison my air? She don't know she messed with the right of She-Hulk. Hashtag right of She-Hulk. There's been Zenzi coming at you. We got more to talk about because Lamar Rucker, holler. 360-969-5826. Look, what this is right now, this is you passing up. Your right of first refusal to get in on the ground floor of investing is Steve Harvey or Tyler Perry when they live in a car. 30 bucks? Shit. I do good Bernie Mac too. I got seven. And that's the only because I craftily begged and had the ability to buy a $13 at 11 cent sandwich. <sighs> anyway, look, I'm asking you to co-create a movie with me to demolish racism by 2030. I learned that from Paul Carrick Brunson. You gotta say something cray cray to get attention. It doesn't seem to do work for me yet. Um, but I got into this cray cray stuff and then you got to say cray cray things and then you got to put a firm date on it. That's how me, Elon Musk did the Mars thing. <gasps> Lamont, you got to help me. Little bit of change going on here. But I am still the smart ass human who got into Carnegie Mellon after just graduating from high school in three years and who knew precisely which humans to hang out with. That's a story in and of itself. I think you curious about that, but that's not all. I have discovered philosophically hypotheses. How to Unite us as one species, all 7.9 billion of us. It just takes life-centric thinking. And as a philosopher, the ability to think, that's what I went to Carnegie Mellon for. Not that any of y'all ask me. No, y'all ask me. So, you know, nobody coming to a philosophy lecture, but they're coming to Londo Lozzi, the movie. I'm asking you to be my headliner next to Jill Scott. That's right, we're going to get the Tyler Perry verse. Interested in seeing you and Joe back on the screen again. Whew. Executive producer over here, top quality. And then Jill, you and I, we meet cute on Twitter. We decide, hey, people like us couldn't be friends in 2022. The world has just gotten so fragmented. What are we gonna do about it? Well, we'll consult African ancestral wisdom. That's right, we're gonna go on location scout to Londolozi, which is a real place that has rewilded like land the size of New England. It was also while Nelson Mandela went between leaving Robin Island, being freed from Robin Island. Let's not get that twisted or demeaned in any way, shape, or form. That man was imprisoned. for being human. No more of that, no more of that. So we're gonna go, we're gonna find out where he went between Robin Island and becoming the president. It's gonna be delightful. This movie's great. And so you and I, we go, we're just you and I, right, Carnegie Mellon pals. We're gonna need a fixer in the parlance of the industry. Who better to consult than the number one ladies detective agency? Why we need to consult? Ms. Jill Scott reprising her role as Ma Precious from Maltzware. Just gonna twist it, right? We're gonna set it up. All the early PR is gonna be like, you and I getting together. Then it's just gonna be all about right livelihood and saving the world from all 
seasonal sunlight flu, my friend. I prognosticated COVID in 2019, submitted it to Ron Howard's Imagine Impact Incubator, the treatment. So I just got a treatment. So the other thing we're going to do, we're going to go on an actual real location scout to Londolozi, and we'll go find a South African or Botswanan screenwriter and line producer for Londolozi the movie. Now, so that's three. So, you know, all the Tyler Perry verse, the two of you, and you're, you're both top of the screen, and then it's introducing moi. And then <sighs> hundreds of millions. There's like 20-some books in the number one ladies detective agency series. That's a global audience right there. And the guy, you know, Alexander McCall Smith, he's, he's, he's Scottish. We get the little redheaded mafia discussion. And, um, but he's also, he also writes another series that's about a female philosopher. So th there's no question. We just got to get to him. And, um, then the third incredible, just, wow, what, what kind of audience is this going to bring in? Well, let me just do the cross by. It's the fifth element, cross wit. Black Panther, only in real life Botswana, not make believe Wakanda. Cross with a wrinkle in time where love, science, and philosophy save human lives. All seasonal sunlight flu. People get sick for five days, well for two days, sick for five days, well for two days, etc. So I'm a girl, we don't want people dying. But what we have to do, we get stranded there. We just come from Seattle, just like the real COVID. And we get stranded in Africa. And so then what happens is I'm seeing this. There's Zanzi making a guest star debut. Hi, sweetie. Yeah. And so I got a little excited. As one should be doing when one is creating a movie to stay alive. for two years homeless for 19 months <laughs> Richard T. Jones done left me on the side of the mountain and all I'm asking for is a little job in your general store all right think about it co-executive producing co-starring will keep the money in the family you keep me alive for a little bit with that the little pay, pay for the treatment then, you know, how do we, you know, do, do the pre-production, go on the actual location scout? Ms. Jill Scott. These are NFTs. Hashtag NFT art. There's a whole YouTube channel on me showing how I stayed alive. A la Andy Weir's Martian. Here's the thing. We're going to do a little Matt and Ben. So, unfortunately, I'm Matt Damon in the Martian. I'm alone in all this right now. But once I get Ben, what's Matt and Ben? And, you know, I was on campus, Carnegie Mellon campus, for seven months last year performing hashtag free will gathering. That's good will hunting into evolutionary logic terms. Free will gathering. That's what women do, right? Anyway, who's our Robert Williams? Eddie Izzard. She was, I was this close when she was running all the marathons in, in June. Uh, last year, 2021, there's 32 marathons in 31 days of January. I was on the YouTube. I have had threesomes with Eddie Izzard, George Clooney, and myself. I was, you know, I was doing the, the, the Eddie Izzard like, street performance. I was just typing in the comments on the YouTube. But I had a following, I'm telling you. I just couldn't get Eddie to see me. Nobody sees me. That's because I am the evolution of consciousness. Well, one of the versions of it, I mean, my own version of it, right? I mean, we all have our different ones. But what it is, is this power to have my stream of subconscious come right out my mouth. So I'm also the inventor of hashtag stand up philosophy. So once we get this movie all sorted out, then get me on the phone to Dave Chappelle. I'm the inventor of stand-up philosophy. I mean, he's been doing it and everything. I just don't think he know he do a stand-up philosophy. And he has said he will block and tackle. And I know you both went. Duke Ellington.
I know you get a call at the Chappelle for me. That's it. That's all I need. Little job at your general store, a little, little bit. Because Richard T. Jones left a bear to be on the side of the mountain. Real life. Being saved by a fictional plot of a movie. Mm-mm-mm-mm. All right, look, this all been a performance. Pretty good one, too. Holler. <laughs> Let's talk for reals. Because this movie is for reals and it has real philosophical hypotheses of bioelectromagnetism. But we want the Africans writing the science because they already know. That's what the movie's really about. Demonstrating Africans are the original humans. And they're the ones we need to turn to right now if we have any chance of saving our species from self-extincting. So let's make that movie. Harmony. <laughs>